Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Lunar 2! Today, we've been selected to get into Neo Vane. We lost those freeloaders. I mean, uh, Ronfar and Jean. Uh, we might want to find a way to get them back. But if you only send incompetent people down there, and no one is competent that is down there, then how do you know they're not trying to escape or anything? I don't know. Maybe they just don't care. Probably. Huh? W what are you, uh... I, I don't understand. Oh. It's just gibberish. He's speaking in tongues! Okay, how's it going? Oh. Guess I just, uh, mailed you off and, well, uh, didn't even throw in any diapers, huh? Nah, I, I'm already, uh, peeled up to max anyway. Well, you love working for Borgen, don't you? Oh. Well, aren't you one of them? I would think so. I would think you'd be used to it by now. By the way, I heard that the reason Ronfar got thrown out was because, like, Borgen actually doesn't like the priests and the Chosen and all that stuff. So he didn't let him in because it's like it's not like actual magic like Lamina it's like a litany like music or something like that so I guess for some reason that doesn't count or something that's what someone was telling me I don't know but it's a good an explanation as any haha -ha. well yeah this is a JRPG of course little kids have more magic power than adults you haven't played this JRPG before, have you? But how do they rank people? What is your Psy rating anyway? No. No, that's another show. Well, let's see what the library is like. Or if this is a library. Oh, no, it's just a regular house. I guess he... Borgen doesn't like books for some reason. nuts. I wonder if Hero had more actual magic in the Sega CD version. Kind of like Alex in the first game. I would guess not, but I don't know. I didn't check out that version this time around. Oh. Well, that sounds like a plan. You'll get tons of new members, Lamina. Oh. Why aren't you going along with Borgen's plan? I would think you'd be happy. Well, anyway, you go over here. Ha-ha! Luck ring. Did I put one on Hero yet? No, I did not. Good. So I'm going to give that one to him. So I'll have one per Hero, and... Well, Gene took the other one, so... Oh, well. I'm screwed with that one, but that's okay. I only need two, anyway. Well, one. I mean... But, yeah. Five. Frieza! Oh, good for him. How does he keep that thing going? Well, th this floating island seems to say otherwise. Yeah, well, the blue star is kind of way farther away. We're still kind of in orbit of Borgen. I, I mean, uh, Lunar. Anyone home? Hey, hey! What is this, like an apartment or something? Or is this like one just big house for one big happy family? Oh, well good for you. Nice that he's uh, sharing the wealth. Well, wh yeah, where is he getting the money from? Maybe, uh, what is it? entry fees or application fees or something to get in. Of course, we didn't have to pay anything. Oh, the statues. Right. They charge people to use them. So that's how they do it. Except instead of donating them to a church, you donate them to magic. I think I like Borgen's plan a little better than the Chosen. But we still gotta kick his ass anyway. So. And that guy's evil to the core. Not evil to the albacore, though. No, that's something else. 
Well, that was a long time ago. What about Lamina? Well, maybe she can inherit it after uh, Borgen and her mom die. I don't know. Yeah, how's it going? I thought he was like a black wizard or something. Grand wizard? Grand Nagus? No. 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 Well, keep an eye out for her. Th that's not like a hint to tell you to look for her as part of a side quest and take her back to him. No. No. Seriously, it's not. I mean, there's, there's nothing to do with that. Now, that couldn't possibly be true. Not if Lamina has something to say about it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I suppose, uh, who is that fourth, uh, hero? Uh, Mari, that's her name. Yeah, she seems pretty evil to the core. We need more, like, deliciously evil villains. I mean, like, Lun and... Well, Lun was alright. And, and, like, Leo and all that, you know, they're not evil to the core. You know, they don't exactly set up that son-of-a-bitch-must-pay mentality because they didn't, like, burn my beloved peasant village to the ground or something. I mean, sure, they've done other evil things, but, you know, once we beat them, they were just like, Oh, yeah, I'm totally changing my tune. That's it. Just like the, uh, pirate in Final Fantasy 1. Uh, Bicky, Bike, I don't know how you pronounce his name, Bikay. Ha ha. Well, that might be true. Well, of course. Who would want to be wrong? You'd be insolent fools! Oh, absolutely. Don't want to get taken off that payroll. And to what end? Ha uh ha. -huh. Yeah, it is a pretty nice city. Good for you. Glad things turned around for you. Oh, no one up here. Uh-oh, it's the girl from the first game. Oh, well, it's the same sprite, but... Yeah, whatever that girl was... Who was involved with that one bromide with ridiculous sequence triggers or... Something or other like that. I forget her name. Whatever. Oh. Nuts. Well, how many fat asses do we got around here anyhow? You all seem to be uh, reasonably healthy to me. Or at least as much as I can tell with pixels. Well, that's probably true. I mean, look at my party members. We got all kinds of magic. Maybe you don't acknowledge some of them, but still, I mean, we all have some special abilities. Okay, well, anyway, let's see. We got equipment shop here, or, well, item shop here. I think they sell crests here. Yeah. Ooh, the magic eye crest. Yes. Um, let me see. Well, we got anti-magic rings, but I don't care about that. Let me, uh, buy my regular equipment first, and then I'll, uh, come back for the Magic Eye Crests. But I do want to get them. They're basically the same thing as Warrior Crests, but for magic. And they're really, really good for boss fights. Still gonna stick to the Chiro Crests, though, for, um, uh, for random battles and stuff. Okay, let's see what they got here. Oh, and they got stuff for Hero. Well, that's nice. How's it going? Sounds like a plan. Let's see what you got. Okay, new shield. Let's see, new gauntlet for you. Armor. And I'm running low on funds. Nuts. I need to sell some of my old equipment, I guess. Hmm. Do I have any other equipment? Oh. I must have spent a lot of money on stuff or something. Okay, well, I'll just sell, I don't know, 
two of those things. Okay, so I think I got the armor, right? Yeah, okay. Wisdom rope? Absolutely. And new helmet. Helmet, good. Okay, so, put all that. I like how uh, uh, Sayback had that the equipment for Ronfar and Jean, but this town just so conveniently has new equipment for Hero and Lamina. But it works. Okay, so let's see, we got that. Um, oh, right, I uh, don't need that. Not right now, anyway. Okay, and let's sell some stuff so that way I can actually buy those uh, magic eye crests, if I can. I'll hold on to the peasant clothes, just because they're useless, but there might be some hidden property or something about them that someone on the internet might dig up and I might want to use or something. I don't know. Okay, let's see. I need 16 grand, so yeah, I'll have to set one of my life jewels, but that's okay. I want to get four magic eye crests. You don't need all of them. In fact, you don't need them all, but I'm going to use them periodically. So let's get... Oh, right, I need to uh, get more money. But, like, during boss fights, I like to use them on Lamina. Maybe Ronfar sometimes, but... Well, you never know. I figured just buy some spares and we'll be fine. Our money problems are going to be a thing of the past. Of course, that's what I keep saying. And then more bills keep on piling up. I, I mean, uh new equipment and stuff. Nuts. Oh, well, that's that's just dandy. Okay, so, let's see what we got here. As far as equipment goes, yeah, healing, luck ring, dual warrior crests. Let's see, I want you on the ice staff for now. I don't know if it particularly matters, but... And let's see, we got Lamina's exclusives and Chiro crests. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Let's uh, say, just in case I screw up something in there. There we go. Well, anyway, as he's indicating there, this is how we get into the mines. We gotta find a way to get Jean and Ronfar back. So, let's take a look around. Don't worry about the enemies here. I mean, yeah, we'll fight them, but don't worry about like getting annihilated because you only have two characters. We'll be fine. Okay, rock biters, new enemies. Let's see, if it's just kind of sitting there, then uh, it's going to just attack you. If you see its tail moving like that, that means it's going to try and poison you. So you want to attack while its tail is up. Uh, let's see, they are pretty much weak to just about everything, really. So, let me see if I can do this. Hmm. Yeah, that's cheaper than the other one. That'll do. That'll do. Well, holy crap! <laughs> I didn't expect you to deal that much damage. Wonder if a uh, water staff might be enough to kill them. They only have like 145 HP. Overkill. Anyway, in here we got another healing ring. All right. Almost got enough for the whole team. I'll uh, I'll give that to someone else eventually. Probably. Gina Ronfire, whoever I didn't give one to before. You know what? Let me try that wa water crest. See if that actually works or not. Or water staff. Sorry. Oh. Okay, yeah. I don't even have the range to do that. Okay. Never mind. Carry on. Yeah, so you see, there's a reason to cast, not just because of the additional damage, but because you won't have the range. Also, uh, don't worry about your MP in this dungeon. Feel free to use uh, Starlight or whatever. We will have a healing point before we take on Borgen. Alright, took care of those guys. Just more rock biters. Yeah, these guys, yeah, they're real easy even without Ronfar and Jean. And I'm not worried about the experience. Although I'd imagine they still get experience, even though they're not in the party right now, but... Well, however it works. Hey, how's it going? Well, you can... Sing, apparently. What is a prestidigitator, anyway? 
I mean, I know they were like magicians, like in the D Dragon Quest games, but I mean, is that it, or is there like something more specific than that? Oh, well, they're the only ones. You don't have anyone else. But you take your funds from where you can get them. Oh, really? Huh. So I guess we're going through this Neo trial cave backwards, huh? <laughs> but all right, more party members. And here is Gene. Hey! Oh. Well, you got gypsy magic, but I guess it doesn't count. Oh. Oh, why would he? Oh, I guess just to make sure that no one's uh, trying to escape, huh? Yeah, I wonder. I don't think they ever explain that, really. Well, let's just take a look around, see if we can find anything. <laughs> hmm. Well, I guess you can't just teleport, you know, amethyst or ore or dragon diamonds or anything like that. I hope my new armor isn't made from dragon diamonds. Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to say, more party members for Jean. I guess I just got carried away there. Oh, I wonder if that's the woman that uh, he was talking about. Sideways? Well, if you dig a hole long enough, you'll come out the bottom eventually. Now that uh, stairway leads down to the right side of the third floor, while there's another one over here on the left side. So I'm going to go on the left side first. I just wanted to get all my party members and then back around here. Ouch. Ouch. Yeah, that's why I do what I do for a living now. Don't want to break my ba back like my forefathers. Or whatever the technical term is for that. Whatever. Oh, I haven't seen any rats around here. I've seen scorpions. You guys eat rat burgers? No. No, that's another movie. Okay, how's it going? Oh, so that's why he comes down here. Just for kicks? Apparently so. Well, you do now! Okay, so now that we are about ready to go back and fight some more monsters, let's see. Jean, I want you to have your healing ring. Luck ring. And let's see. You got healing ring. I suppose a fresh ring would be do would do. I mean, there are some enemies that can poison us here. So, eh, got nothing better. Uh, there are some enemies that can mute or seal my party members, but I don't think we have anything that can protect against it yet. So Okay. And once again, just to be safe, let's just say. And try to find more of the new monsters around here. Okay, there's another new enemy, a Screen Sphere. Uh, when you just kind of see them just sitting there like that, they'll just attack you normally. If you see it glowing red in all of its orifices, um, yeah, they will, uh, try to seal all your party members. Fortunately, I have Chiro Crest power, so we won't have a problem with that. Let's see, can I do Ice Lance on all three of them? No. 
Well, Freeze Claw should be good enough still, even though it deals less damage. So, yeah. Spells that target all enemies deal less damage than, you know, ones that target a group, and those deal less damage than the single targeting ones. So, but it's not like Final Fantasy IV or something where it's divided by the number of targets. No, it doesn't matter. Although I think I saw something, like one of the spells way later in the game, I think it's like Catastrophe or something, that uh, it seemed to do more damage when there was only one target. I forget, though. I'd have to check it out. Okay, well, we got another new enemy down here. And for this one, I have some special plans. Oh, man. I wanted Lumina... Well, I want Lumina to steal from the Gorgons, but I need to kill these guys, too. Hmm. Let's see if uh, Tempest can be strong enough for that. I hope so. And we gotta kill that guy, so let's have Gene go after them. And let's try to steal from the Gorgon. Take a wild guess what item we can get from them. I'll take care of this. Come on. Have the item. That's okay. Well, I'll just tell you. You can steal a Gorgon Dal from them, which I would want to get, and give it to the Mina there. Unfortunately, they don't usually have one. So, but as you're going through the cave, you should be able to get one without having to, like, specifically grind for it. Hey. Oh, and by the way, uh, when you see the Gorgon just kind of sitting there, it attacks normally. When you saw it, its mouth was showing there, like it was at the beginning of the round there, it will try to poison one of you. So, uh, let's see. And they are weak to most elements. So, we should be pretty good against them. Or, oh, right, I have the Thieves' Staff. I was going to say, or maybe not, but, uh, oh, no, uh, Water Staff. There we go. Yeah, they're pretty much weak to everything except Thunder. Same thing with the, uh, Rock Biters we met up with earlier. Scream Spheres aren't weak to much of anything. Oh, well. And most of the enemies resist statuses, so... Yeah, Jean's dances, not really going to do us a whole lot of good anymore. But, oh well. You know, now that I think about it, wasn't Ice Lance the level 2 blue elemental spell in uh, Chrono Cross? I forget. It's been so long since I played that game. I should fix that. Okay, so we got the last new enemy around here. Uh, Dark Lord of the Sith. Now, when you see them standing there normally, which they are not, um, they'll just attack... Well, they'll just attack you normally. But when you see, I don't know, a proton pack or whatever that is on them surging with electricity, yeah, they're going to attack you with an AoE. So we want to take them out pretty quick. Uh, let's see. Let's go after that one. You go up there. You go down there. And Freeze Claw. I, I don't know why they call it a Freeze Claw. It doesn't look like a claw of anything, really. But well, whatever works for you. And, uh, as you can kind of tell there from that spell, Dark Lords are pretty much resistant to just about everything. I hope Ronvar can make it. Probably not. Ow! Yeah, I knew he was going to be a little too far. Oh, well. Hey. Warrior and Seal Crest are still better than Chiro Crest for him. Maybe when he gets a new multi attack multiplier, that might help. I think he gets one at, uh... 43 or 44? I'd have to look it up. I actually made a little chart to tell me where all the attack multipliers come in. Let's see. Oh, Ronfire is level 45. Hero is 43. And that's probably going to be all the attack multipliers you're going to get in the main storyline there. So, oh well. But, well, we're almost there. By that point, well, I might have to say goodbye to the Warrior and Seal Crest for Ronfar there. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to uh, kill all the rest of the enemies in the dungeon here, clear them out, and then we'll try to find a way to get into Neo Vein. Can we defeat Borgen once and for all? Find out next time on Let's Play Lunar 2! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!